back in the day. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about back in the day when we were young. I'm talking about back in the day <laughs> when the world was young. And each word an invention spun from someone's uncertain tongue. Way back in the day, when languages were being born, so there were just enough words to get through the day, and people moved just enough to keep hunger at bay. Back in the day, as in close to the earth. They worked, they ate, they grew old, they gave birth. They settled down to sleep as soon as the sun was gone. They got back up at the buck crack of dawn. They were grounded like solid. They kept it real. They followed their instincts and lived from meal to meal. But there was one girl who wasn't so grounded. She wandered and wondered, floundered and blundered, and when others tried to ground her, she would resist. She'd make up words for things that didn't even exist, words for feelings that you couldn't touch with your hand, and the grounded people did not understand. The girl opened her mouth and some strange sound came out and floated and shifted and hung in the air and a shiver moved through the people gathered there and as she moved her lips and limbs and threw things on the floor something happened in that grounded room that had never happened before then and there the ground was broken and something new was born and the cold and rounded room suddenly became warm for the girl was electric it was like lightning is electric not grounded but charged a light bulb waiting to hatch she was the synapse the charge Fire, the match, the spark in that dark room to make the fire catch. And the people, the grounded people, were like the water struck by the lightning. Conducting the electricity as soon as they were touched. The people leaned in to catch the next word. They held their breath in to catch the next note. They edged as close as they could get to catch our next footstep. And the heat of all the bodies changed the weather. People shouted and gasped. Laughed and wept between the girl and the people. Electricity left and kept buzzing back and forth. And when the performance was over and the people left, they left not grounded, but charged, astounded, their minds enlarged, ideas popping, colliding, and birthing inside the brain. Synapses connecting, collapsing, and expanding each moment with a brilliant electric bang. And the room became like lightning, electric, not grounded, but charged, like about to hatch. And she was the the wire, the match, the spark in that dark room that made the fire catch. And the many grounded people who were in the room that night, there were few in whom a light spark was lit, who became permanently ungrounded, who were charged then and there, who spun off furious and laughing into the static air. And where we touch down, currents connect, electricity pops and whirs, and we are its conductors, electric and true. We take the tiring, grounded world, shake it, wake it up. All electric, like lightning is electric. Now down to the charge, the light bulbs about to hatch. We are the synapse, the charge, the wire, the map, spark in this dark room that makes the fire catch. We are the lightning rod, the lake, the tall, tall tree. Like her, we are conductors of electricity. Dangerous and beautiful, not just because we conduct, but because we change the charge of what we touch. <laughs> 